Hi there, Prayer Plant Girl here. I wanted to just give you a quick um, little tutorial, little refresher on how to uh, pot up your canna bulbs uh, to get them pre-sprouted. If you live in a cold climate like myself, I live in Saskatchewan, Canada. I have a, a really short growing season of 110 days. And that means that if I want to enjoy canna flowers for much of the season, I need to pre-sprout them inside. And so I get them going. I actually like to usually start them around the end of March, but this year it just didn't work out for me and it didn't happen. So the uh, can of bulbs, I had them stored in some uh, vermiculite, just in little kind of flower pots. And they were stored in a, a dark area under some stairs. It stays around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. And that's where they just had stayed for most of the winter. And then I pulled them out actually about a month ago and they've been sitting in my garage waiting for me to deal with them. And uh, to, yesterday was the day that I took to pot them up. When you're potting up a canna, sometimes the uh, growing sprouts will be quite obvious. And sometimes the sprouts aren't, the growing tips aren't as obvious on them and that's fine. They're just a long kind of chunk. Some of mine I've divided up into smaller pieces before I stored them in the fall. Sometimes you have a large piece and usually you're pretty good to just kind of find the center of it. Give it a little wiggle and they'll pull apart into multiple pieces or you can just cut them with a sharp um, pair of secateurs or a knife or something. You're going to want to let that uh, heal up before you put it in soil if you're cutting them in the spring. Um, but if you have them all divided like mine are, then just take them, pop them in a pot with some soil. So just put a little bit of soil in the bottom of the pot and then you could put your rhizome in there and just barely cover it up with more soil. You don't need to put a lot of soil on it. This is a temporary space for it. Uh, you just want a nice damp soil when you're doing this. It doesn't need to be really wet. Uh, you can see mine here that I used yesterday. It just has like, I can squeeze it in a ball, it holds together, and then I can just easily break it up and it won't fall apart on its own. And that's all you really want. You don't want really, really wet soil and you don't want really dry soil. It's just enough to kind of between that and the warmth of bringing the, the rhizomes inside that it kind of makes them realize that it's time to wake up. I've just put some humidity domes over top because like I said, the soil is just barely moist. That'll just help to keep that little bit of moisture in there without having to add water, hopefully until they've started to sprout. It's not a necessary step, um, but it certainly doesn't hurt. That's how easy it is to pot them up. Then you're just gonna put them somewhere they don't need to be in light. You see mine are just jammed off in a corner in my plant room here. And they're just waiting to sprout. Once they start to sprout, then I'll need to put them um, in front of a nice bright sunny window or under grow lights if you uh, can fit them somewhere under your grow lights and just leave them there to grow. But at that point, you can start giving them some water. They probably develop some roots. So they'll take on some water uh, and without rotting. Um, and then you just let them grow and they'll need to stay inside until it's um, usually around your last frost date. I like to wait usually about a week after my last frost date to put them out, uh, just depending on what the weather looks like. Um, you, they don't want frost, they don't like cold weather. And of course, make sure that you're hardening them off well um, before you're leaving them outside because they, they have these big bold leaves on them and uh, wind, sun, all of that is going to be extra hard on the leaves of a canna plant when you put it out. So, you know, put it in a protected area for a couple of hours and then again the next day if you, a little bit longer and the next day a little bit longer, bringing them in at night till they've been accustomed to not only the sun but also the wind uh, before they're put out so they can toughen up a little bit. Uh, if you're interested in a more in-depth look at how to grow cannas and pot them up, or any kind of information, I'll put some links to some other videos in the description below for you that have a little bit more details about how to do this. But those just a quick look, a quick little reminder to get it done if you uh, live in a cold climate and you haven't done it, like myself. And uh, hopefully you'll have beautiful canna blooms to enjoy this summer. Thanks for watching. Bye.